What's up guys, so we're back here, we're going to start a brand new challenge here. This is 100% free to play, how you can play to earn in Ark World without spending anything whatsoever. Uh, we're just going to go all the way up to getting a house and a tent, so approximately 450 BSLT right now. And if they do end up changing the values before we have uh, completed our process of getting our 450 BSLT, we'll use whatever the new values are, so if they decrease certain things, uh, we will do that. So let's go ahead and make our character here. Play to earn. Let's do see if that's available. Hey, cool. So we have play to earn. We're going to go and pick up this character here. Uh, picking up the vitalism skill as our main skill tree because for one, we're going to use all the tips and tricks that I've taught in the channel for free to play players. So vitalism, vitalism, healing class, whatever you want to call it, is the best class for being a free-to-play player because you can get into raids as a healer easier than a DPS or a tank. So that is the biggest tip number one is healing class. Be a healer. You'll get into parties, you'll get into raids, you'll be more useful as a free-to-play player. So we're going to go ahead and escape out of that. And next up, the first and the most difficult part is actually starting and getting your first couple of BSLT. So what we're going to try and do, and what everyone needs to do, is they need to do the daily quests every single day. So click over here, first tab, if you want to do this. It's not going to be a quick process. It's not going to happen overnight. We're not going to get our 450 BSLT uh, in, you know, in a week. It might take a month. Uh, who knows how long it will take us to get 450 BSLT. But we're gonna go ahead and do this and record every second of this account and show you and tell you what I'm thinking about how to do this. This is not for my benefit. Like this is a complete waste of time for me, honestly. Because yeah, I don't I don't care about the 450 BSLT. I could buy the 450 BSLT. That's way more valuable for me. I'm only doing this for educational purposes and showing you guys that it is possible since there's so many people that are saying it's not possible and it's horrible free to play is garbage and so forth so i'm uh, not disagreeing free to play is very very difficult but you have to make correct decisions and that's where the people make mistakes is they do not make correct decisions so we're going to go ahead and pick a one-handed or two-handed weapon here um i think as a healer we probably should Actually, we'll go one-handed, even though I think this is a mistake, but I'm going to tell you why we're going to pick uh, two-handed is because I actually want a shield so that we can take more damage and tank more stuff because we're going to be doing a lot of mob farming. So we need to have more defense to help up with all the mobs, but I think that two-handed weapon is actually better uh, just in general because it costs less to upgrade after tier four and the reason it costs less is that you need one less scroll to upgrade so all the materials that you need the the exp the infusions and all that stuff is all the same the gear score is the same but it's going to require one extra scroll which is quite expensive and you know we're going to die already which is totally fine uh we don't lose anything early on um Definitely already screwed up there. Already got our first death after, what, like five minutes of playing? And mistakes are gonna happen, so it's okay. In the future though, you don't want to actually die because it's gonna break your gear. You're gonna lose durability. So you gotta be less uh, carefree as I was there. Um, so once again, we should actually equip our weapon. That was the first mistake that we did, is they didn't equip our weapon. And we also got up close and personal as a range class. So mistake number one, mistake number two, we didn't equip weapon. Mistake number two, we got up and close and personal and we smacked them with our fists and that was not smart. So let's go ahead and grab our weapons. We need, as a healer, we need healing power. So we need the club and then we need the shield. Oh, so we grab the club first, and then we grab the shield second. All right, club, shield, and equip the bow. All right, 
right, so we need to mine the vein. You can do this with any race, any class, it doesn't matter. Um, personally, like I said, the healing class is, in my opinion, the best class as a free-to-play player. Uh, the big goal is that we need to get our level up ASAP. So we are going to generally rush quests. You can attack targets with but we are going to come back and do a lot of the other quests, I think, is the correct way to do it. So if you're a free-to-play player, you probably should, now that they changed the system, just do every single quest that they give you. And try to actually overachieve these quests because there's hidden exp in the mobs as well so when you fight we're also using a really really bad ping so we're from america so we have about 500 ping so ours gonna have damage delays and things like that and then also what we need to do, make sure we got our daily quest because this this is the most important thing we need this we need 15,000 exp to get our labor and to get our gold. So that is the most important thing. And that's what we're gonna be doing each and every day. Accumulate labor, accumulate gold, and I'll you know, show you how to use the labor and use the gold to turn it in to actually BSLT at some point. So we're gonna go ahead and grind, grind some mobs, grab some quest completions. Just to get EXP. This is probably not optimal, but this is what I'm gonna do. Because eventually, your character as a free to play will end up being too weak to fight the mobs. And it's really frustrating at that point, so. I'm gonna treat this kind of like as a brand new player jumping in the game and kind of like not knowing anything. So you would really want to pretty much do every single quest. Like that's the basics. If you're a brand new player jumping into Ark World, never played this game, just do every single quest. Like you can't go wrong. Um, armor sets, three different types. So again, we're gonna be grinding mobs. So I've found out that plate is actually pretty good. For grinding mobs and it has high durability so we're gonna go grab plate just for that reason for dps you probably want leather and then cloth gives you movement speed bonus so let's make sure we open up the armor equip all our armor which is very very important these little guys over here you click on them i will give you a movement speed buff. So you always want to try and grab one of those. Let's go ahead and uh, numb lock. Do. I think the options. Sound. I think they always said sound is high. Overall volume's down. Okay, good. Yeah, so once we get a little bit higher level, we're gonna start AOE farming, and this is where the plate armor will actually come in to benefit. And if we AOE farm mobs that are lower level than us, the invalid system will actually work in our favor rather than against us. So if you want, you can rush the green storyline quest, and you can get your gear higher level. But you're gonna run, you're gonna get stuck around level 30 at Halcyona, and then you have to backtrack. But it definitely is a viable strategy to rush the green quests. Items. Progress your gear as far as possible because you're going to get a lot of labor 
and you're gonna get the infusions that you need. Nope. I'm not there yet. So I need to plant the mint. And the reason that getting your gear higher is important and helps is because you'll be able stronger to kill mobs faster. So killing mobs is going to be essentially how you're going to make your money and opening up the coin purses. That's where you're going to spend your labor points. We're also going to try and get a spot in the public farm area, which most of them are going to be completely full, but we might get lucky now I'm hearing. People are saying that public farms are starting to open up a little bit, which if you can, that's a huge plus. If you're a free-to-play player, you want to just try and get into the public farms like keep looking every single day that should be your number one priority if you're a free-to-play player is look for public farms look for openings so you can plant your three crops so let's go over here kill this and we've got our level five quest so unfortunately oh we actually can do this so this one is supply medicine so we can actually do this since we're such a low level normally this is going to be a a quest it's like supply crops to an npc but we can't get crops because we don't have access to the public uh, farming areas and that's the only place that you can plant stuff but since you're a low level, you got to make use of this and use this to its most potential. So we're going to, you know, do these two quests and then we'll log off for the day. That will be the end of the journey today. You see, we're almost halfway there to the EXP quest. In the supply potion quest, it will cost us some gold, but we're trading the gold that we're gonna get plenty of gold and we're gonna turn it into labor. And then we're also gonna get a little bit of Archeum as well. So for the people that said like, it's hard and free to play can't progress and can't play, like this patch that they did one week into the server, they dramatically made it easier for free to play to play the game. And you'll notice too that each of these quests, like we got the quest in the last town there, right? And now we finished it and then it takes us to the next area, the next town. It doesn't make us go back. Almost all the quests in the game are like that. They're like chains. So they take you to the next location that you need to be. So if you miss a section of quest, then you're gonna be missing out a bunch of EXP because they're all chained and linked together. So you'll see on the map, there's quest markers that pop up. So you wanna make sure that you hit every single quest marker. And there are a few that are bugged that I have found or that you just like can't do for whatever reasons. Like it just doesn't make sense to you or it's bugged. Like then just abandon those. But otherwise try to do every single quest. That will be very, very important. That'll get you a lot of VXP. That will get you up to over level 50. And that is very, very important because you'll be able to get into like, you know, the good raids at that point. And raiding is actually very, very important. You also want to be in a raid that does not really PVP. You just want to get the quest done. Literally, that's all you're aiming for. You, as a free to play player, you want to get the quest done, get in, get out, that's it. And so if the raid is in PVP and battle mode, you want to just leave that raid and go to a different one because as a free-to-play player you don't want to die like you literally don't want to die that's the main objective is to not die you also want to make sure that you're always in like peace mode unless you're farming mobs and you're pretty sure that no one's around to kill you stay in peace mode so right here to the right of your name it's either friendly state or it's pvp state just stay in peace mode like Really, really big tip. Your 
people had never. Press the period key to toggle the. Alright, so do not have any gold yet. Let's see what this quest wants us to do. It wants us to kill something, it looks like. Okay. And I believe there's a public farm over here. Up, oh, and it won't let us do this because we have a pack on, so we gotta drop this. And then we can talk to him, and this will give us another pack, and this is gonna give us our mount. We also wanna do this. So the mount is gonna make you significantly faster. So we're going to raise up our mount over here. Yeah, let's check on the map. So if we scroll on, yep, there's, there's some public farms right here. So we're going to go take a look over there to see if we can plant crops. If we have any space whatsoever. So look on the quest log over here. Wants us to plant the Vita seed. Or the yep, Vita root sampling. So we can actually sell all the civilian stuff. We're going to get a couple coppers out of it. See if we can sell it at this merchant. We're gonna pick a animal. Put the animal down. Interact with the animal to raise him. We're gonna feed him. We actually need to get some water also. Wait, let's see if we can sell the stuff here. Yeah, sell. All right, so we don't need this, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. So civilian stuff is garbage. We get rid of all these. Get a little bit of money there. It is quite nice. They gave us these potions. Then we have these potions as well. So we got some food buffs that they gave us. And these are quite strong. Let's see if they give us, yeah, they gave us the attack power one. So plus 49 at like a low level like this is a crazy power boost. So they're good for 30 minutes as well. So what you'll want to do is when you're farming mobs and you have 30 minutes to play, you want to pop one of these buffs. All right, so we got our mounts. There we go. All right, let's go take a look at the map there. Let's go back here, do the screen storyline quest. Are we getting gold yet? No gold yet. So I think we need about two gold for our potion. But you'll notice, you see, we're running a lot faster now with the mount. Some of the names. So you can escape out of the quest if you don't care about the story. Highly recommend to watch the story, though. It'll give you more RP-ness, I guess. Like, you'll be more engaged with the world. I personally don't care about the story at all. Learn new abilities in the skills window. Okay, did we get gold? Yay, we got gold. Alright, we only got one, though, so I don't think we have enough yet. Oh, yep, yeah, we got three gold now. So we have plenty of gold. So, daily schedule. So we need to supply, stamina, 
potion bank rank one so we go to the alchemist it's furniture gotta find the alchemist potions alchemist all right so stamina potion Oh man, they really want us to get that? No, I don't think so. I think it's this one. Uh, let's double check. 10 stamina potion. Stamina potion rank one. Okay, so 10 of these. So it's going to cost us 240. But we're going to get one of that gold back. We're also going to get 25 Arcan, which is very important. We're going to get 50 labor, which is this is most important. Labor is way more important than anything else. So grab that, grab that, and now off we go to turn this in to a community center manager. And you can see, I think it highlighted it over here now. And we can take a look at the public farming area. We can see if there's any spots available for a crop. All right, so let's go by three seeds just in case most likely there's going to be no spots so we want to buy the seed that is correct uh, temper temperament for this land so this is a dry land so we're going to buy three of these only going to cost us nine silver so it's a very very cheap and now we're going to right click and we're going to try and find if we can plant and you can see sometimes you can plant outside the area too like this tree got planted outside of this center yep see look we can plant so we found spots to actually plant so this is huge so we got one we got two can we get a third one in here yep we got three so we got our three crops down so that means we're gonna to wanna to come back in eight hours and harvest. And now we're gonna have some materials to that we can sell or that we can use for other daily quests. So very, very important. That is end of day one here. We're gonna go ahead and quit, call it quits because we did our missions. And so now we just need to kind of conserve and build up our resources. You can still continue playing, but it's better to just give it time. Your main focus is a free to play player is to get these daily missions done. So we've done this, we'll let them refresh and we'll come back tomorrow and start off on our adventures within uh, you know, collecting these guys, putting them down again. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.